Despite Negan only being introduced in the final scene of The Walking Dead Season 6, I'm Negan. You can bet that we'll be seeing a lot more of this big bad throughout Season 7. Yes, you are. But as Rick and the group bow down before him and prepare to lose one of their ranks, take a look at six things you might not have known about this brand new supervillain. But before we begin, be warned. This video contains minor spoilers from the comic book series. Number one. Initially, Robert Kirkman had joked that Negan was a used car salesman. But then, in the Walking Dead comic companion series, Here's Negan, we learned that prior to the outbreak of the zombie virus, Negan had a job as a high school coach. Throughout the comic series, we've seen Negan play table tennis and pool, as well as use his baseball bat weapon. So it should really come as no surprise that this was Negan's job. Number two. In the comic series, Here's Negan, we also learned that before the apocalypse hit, Negan was married to a woman named Lucille. Sadly, Lucille was diagnosed with cancer and died just as the zombie virus began to spread. Negan named his weapon of choice after his now deceased wife. This is Lucille. Number three. Negan makes his saviors follow a strict set of rules and has a zero tolerance on rape. Not cool. Believing if men rape that the goal of rebuilding civilization will never be achieved. However, he does seem to accept polygamy as he has multiple wives back at his base in a type of harem. Number 4. Way back in 2012, Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman revealed that Negan was based on musician, actor, and host Henry Rollins. Shortly before Negan's introduction in the comic series, when asked if Negan was going to be more villainous than the governor, Kirkman told audiences, well, he's based on Henry Rollins, so you know he's badass. Number 5. Negan absolutely loves to f***ing swear. Shit, 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 shit. And while we probably can't expect more colorful curse words to be aired on AMC, the DVD and Blu-ray versions will no doubt be chock full of his explicit expressions pulled straight from the comic series. The F take. Number 6. When Negan's men disrespect him and his rules, he dishes out a unique form of punishment which involves heating an iron and using it to severely burn half their faces. So far in the series, we've seen Dwight appear with painful facial burns, and you can be sure that they're a result of Negan dropping the hammer. Or iron, as it may be. Who else is going to get the iron in Season 7? I gotta pick somebody. 